Howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. I look for them, I fondle them, I dream about them. Oh, I haven't been out lately looking, you know why? Normal stuff now in this uh, new normal we've got. Well, somebody asked me, why do you, how do you flip through records so quickly? And uh, what do you look for? Because a lot of the things I buy when I'm out looking for records are things that are brand new to me. I mean, it might be a 65-year-old record, but it's something I've never heard of or seen. And uh, I look for certain clues and things like that that uh, kind of hit me to the fact that maybe uh, a record I'm going through and looking at might be something worth a second look. Got a hair in my face here, and it's just driving me nuts. Be glad to get a haircut, but I'm not willing to go risk life and limb for that. So, when I'm out looking, I'm going through records and I'm doing this. Or maybe I'm doing this, holding a camera under my chin, that sort of thing. Or I'm trying to do the one-handed flop when I've got a box and holding the camera this way. But, I don't sit and stare at each record prayerfully for two and a half, three minutes trying to make up my mind. I've got literal seconds... If that, whether or not I stop and give it a second gander. Sure, I'll miss things occasionally. Don't miss them often. You might say, oh, I see you miss things. Well, I might miss something you lack. But it might not be something I'm after. And two, I do this for enjoyment, but also make my living at it. So I've got to go quickly and find the things that I can buy at the right price and sell for an arm and a leg if I can. So one thing I really look for, if I'm out and around, I look for single colors and parallel lines. See those two parallel lines and it's just a single color. Sometimes it's a white label with black print, red with silver, blue with silver, and little to no real uh, uh, graphics or anything. This one is Rogers Hopkins. It's a says Little Nashville, so you might think it's country. No, it's a great teen record. And what's cool it's called, Where's Your Diploma? They misspelled diploma. Ha ha ha! That's kind of funny. And uh, that's a little, that's uh, on the flip side, it's Roger Hopkins and the Chevelles. This side is Rogers Hopkins. So they put Roger on one side and Rogers on the flip. This tells you that this record is really uh, high class. Also, they use the wrong tense of you and your. Where is you are diploma? Well, that says a lot about Nashville, Tennessee School District, don't it? Y'all don't kill me. I just say what my writers tell me to say. Um, another thing is this one. Parallel line, single color. Also, too, this one's got a uh, name tag on it from down in uh, Sulphur, Louisiana. I look for things that say French accordion brand, a uh, band, and uh, French names when I'm down around Southeast Texas, sometimes around here, Louisiana. That tells me the Cajun records. Cajuns are great. Same thing as before. Parallel lines. This one's got a Memphis, Tennessee address, and I knew the Santo label. It's a decent uh, teenish, countryish thing. So many records you'll find that way. A lot of good ones will have. Uh, an address on it right there. This one's in Oklahoma City, Classen Boulevard. I go to record shops all up and down Classen. So that's two of the main things I look for. I also look for the words bopping, rocking. Uh, yeah, see, there's one right here now. Some like it hot, Sammy Mather Masters and his rockin' rhythm. When you see rock and rhythm, stop and take a look because it might be something great. A lot of rock and records translate into good money. Also, too, I look for major label records. This one, I don't, I don't know much about this one, but it's Aerial Landscape on RCA. I don't recognize it, so hopefully, you know, that would turn out to be some psych thing, garage, or maybe Northern Soul. And uh, it seems like in this handful. What I've got mostly is parallel lines and single colors. And uh, this one I showed you last time. Same formula. Memphis, parallel lines, plain color. Wax is thick. Thick as hell. Okay. Yeah. That's just a great one, isn't it?
That was sent to me by a very nice person. Okay, this is a great one too. Uh, straight country record, Luling, Texas, Sarge label, even has the street address. All the things point to this being a record to check out. A lot of rockabilly on this label, but if I didn't know the label, but I like the name. That's by Bill Horney. Yeah. Bill Horney. Pretty cool stage name, I'd say. You insert your own pure Ryle joke there. I'm a lot more mature than that. Yeah, I just tend to look for independent labels, and most for the most time, they're fairly plain Jane. You know, this one's kind of straddling the fence between parallel lines and not. Hard to go wrong with parallel lines. Although sometimes the major labels did the same thing. But they had a few good songs on Roulette, uh, the Mafia with notwithstanding. Of course, you want to look for certain labels. RPM's a great label. This is one of their later uh, series. Uh, you're looking for one that has a more fancy script right around the top in the low, th uh, low 300s. And uh, that's, that's where you're going to find some big money. So uh, you look for like this one. Jonesboro, Arkansas, 213 East Monroe Street. If I don't recognize it, and the plastic has an old look for it, and there's not any damn barcodes, then you ought to be okay. Until you get to this record. This one looks great. Wow, nothing on the flip side. Don Reese, this was made at a local Dallas pressing plant, and uh, there's tons of great mid-60s on up, early 60s on up maybe, a garage soul, a little bit of rockabilly, whole lot of country that came out that this, not action records, but just the pressing plant. You can tell by the font and the label setup that this was from that bargain basement record presser that came out of Dallas. And they were around for a long time. I think uh, BRS was who it was. BRS or Rainbow, anyway. Now this is a kid's record and it's horrible and it turns up everywhere I go in Dallas. It's like a curse. So, and also I look for extended plays. George Jones, Coasters, and why not Jack Scott, who passed recently. Um, again, small label stuff. That's out of Oklahoma City. If I don't recognize it, I will pick it up. This is another good thing to look for. You look for independent records that have the whole band that autographed it. If it's a neat record, a good rocker or a garage or something, that's not bad having the autograph. Some people don't like them. Most people do. So uh, that's just essentially what I look for when I'm looking at uh, records. I know about the major labels, most of what to look for there. My big happy fun time is finding an independent label that I've not heard of that has a killer rockabilly. Of course, y'all know about Sun Records. But then, oh, this is beautiful. You've got Stony Kilroy with guitar on co-op records out of East Texas. One of the songs is by the LeSabers, Goodbye Johnny. It's a really good rockin', rockabilly type take on a Chuck Berry thing. Hot as can be. The other three songs are three of the worst things you'll ever hear. They were done by Herman Stone, Stoney Kilroy. He called himself a lot of different names on the six or seven records he put out. He'd record them at home. He'd bounce from a home acetate cutter, kind of like this over here, over to reel to reel, and try to overdub all his own instruments. But he couldn't really play. He His voice was kind of nasally, and uh, he didn't have a lot of control over meter, timing, fidelity, or tuning of his instrument, which pretty much all in all makes some great records and people collect those. As long as a bad record is sincere and was really thought out that we're going to do this, this is my vision, and if it's really, really done badly, please, there's a whole collecting field out there. You don't have to just collect Beatles or Elvis or Stones or, you know, somebody on the pan pipes you know you can really look for stuff that nobody else is looking for until they hear you playing it and suddenly everybody wants that 
Well, I guess that's all the time I've got today. Um, I'm hoping in the next week or three to be able to start tentatively going out and looking, but I'm not going to uh, be irresponsible about that, and I would suggest that you do the same. Don't go around looking for records. Leave them for me. It's what I'm here for. I thank you very much. We'll be back uh, the next time around with the next uh, run of Sun 45, so just hang in there. Good times are on the horizon. We'll see you.